Hey everyone, Leo Bond here, and I'm back again today with another review for the Best Buy Canada blog. And this one is a dual review, so I'm actually looking at two brand new Cobra dash cams. I've got the Cobra SC200, which is described as a configurable smart dash cam with real-time driver alerts. And it has a QHD 1600p resolution, so very good resolution on that one. And then I also have the SC201, which is described as a dual view smart dash cam with real time driver alerts. Uh, this one records in full HD 1080p, but it does have both the forward and backward facing cameras. So I've been testing these cameras out for a couple of weeks. And what I have noticed is that uh, even though they have a lot of similarities and they use the same app and whatnot, there actually is quite a bit of differences between the two as well. And it's very difficult for me to decide which one I like the best, but I do know that I like them both. Now the 200, that's the one that has kind of a more traditional digital camera sort of a look to it. That one is front view only. It's got a three inch LCD screen. Uh, it's got hands-free voice control, and there's a lot of things you can do with that. Uh, it's got night vision, uh, enhanced night vision in fact. Other features include an advanced parking mode that wakes a camera up if there's an impact on your car. So if you park on the street or whatever. And it's got dual band Wi-Fi connectivity for things like uh, accessing the cloud. And there's Bluetooth that syncs to your phone. Uh, there's GPS. So really quite a lot of things going on here. It lets you know where there's red light cameras. Uh, I found that one has actually been working quite a bit when I've had the SC201 in the car. I keep getting notified about uh, red light cameras. And also, if you start to drift over into another lane, uh, it'll give you a little, a little, it'll play a little tune, basically let you know what's going on there. So the SC201, this one I would consider more of a modern looking camera. And everything that you're seeing here, mostly what you're seeing in the video here, is footage that was shot with these two cameras. And I've labeled them so that you can see, you know, which one is which. But anyway, this one's a cylindrical shape. It's got the front and rear, so a cabin view uh, camera in there as well. It's got integrated night vision. And I think you'll agree, uh, I've showed some night vision shots here. And I think you'll see that uh, everything looks pretty clear, especially the in-cabin view uh, at night is very good. This one only has a two inch LCD screen and um, other features of this one include again the advanced parking mode. They both have that. They both have uh, the cloud access. You're going to need Wi-Fi for that. Um, this one has something called fleet management or a fleet management system which helps with security and that's for the in-cab monitoring. So maybe if you was driving for Uber or a taxi or something like that uh, that could be useful uh, of course it's got the in-app notifications real-time speed traffic uh, light cameras that sort of thing and both cameras plug into your car with a standard cigarette lighter adapter they also both come with an included micro SD card which is not always the case uh, in fact this is the first time that I've reviewed dash cams that had that, and I've reviewed a couple in the past where they didn't have a, a micro SD card, and I had to go out and buy one myself, which I, I didn't uh, enjoy. So anyway, uh, both very good cameras. Like I say, I'm having trouble deciding which one I like the best. Uh, for instance, the, the SC200 does have the better resolution. But it's not like the 201 has bad resolution by any means. And then the 201 has the interior facing camera, which the 200 doesn't have. And also the 200, you can easily remove that and replace it. Uh, you just pluck it right off of its mount. The mounts are held under your windshield by very sticky tape. And uh, that's solidly on there. So it's not like you can take the whole thing off. But you can remove the camera from the mount quite easily. And with the 201, it was slightly trickier to... Uh, release it from its mount you kind of have to slide it sideways until a little clip lets go uh, it's a little bit trickier but you can still do it relatively easily and you do have the added advantage that it actually rotates and so you can change up your angles that it's facing and you can't do that with the 200 so both have significant advantages and disadvantages versus the other makes it very difficult to decide 
But anyway, I'll try to help you out in the complete written review over at the Best Buy Canada blog. Do go ahead and check that out if you haven't been there already. I do always try to put uh, additional detail in the written review and a full list of all the specs and whatnot. So anyway, thank you for watching the video. I do appreciate that. And if you want to subscribe to Best Buy's channel, you will find all kinds of uh, reviews of many different products right across the spectrum by a whole lot of different bloggers and reviewers. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Have an excellent day and I will see you in the next review.